Good morning and welcome to Your Daily Sparks. I want to give you a fun little story. It's not a biblical story, it's just a fun story this morning. A little bird was flying south in the winter, obviously Northern Hemisphere, but the air became so cold it began to freeze and could not make it to the warmer climate. And after some time the bird collapsed in a large field where a herd of cows grazed. Well, eventually a cow came by and dropped manure on it. At first the bird was very upset about the manure, but then he realized how warm it was and he started to thaw out and he started to feel a lot better. So he started singing with joy. But just then a cat came along and, and was uh, attracted by the bird's joyful song and he followed it to the pile of manure, started digging, discovered the bird and promptly ate it. So there's a number of lessons you could draw from this fun little story, but first one might be not everyone who drops manure on you is an enemy. The second might be not everyone who digs you out is a friend. But the third is when you're in manure, sometimes it's best to keep your mouth shut. If we live long enough, each of us will find ourselves in a situation that more closely resembles a pile of manure than a pile of bed of flowers. In fact, we can feel as if we've been buried under poo, call it what it is. However, if our expectations are set on Jesus Christ and his providential care, we will not stumble through, uh, through the, the goings on in, in times of trial, we will realize that sometimes when we're in the poo, there's actually great comfort there because we're still in the presence and in the love of God. <clears throat> I love the account in Daniel 3 where King Nebuchadnezzar commanded some of the best soldiers in his army to tie up Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego and throw them into the fiery furnace. Even the men throwing them in was so hot they died. But these three young men went into the furnace and came out smelling not even of soot smelling of roses. God honored the faith of these three young men, delivering them from the fiery furnace. And even, even while they were still in it, they were being delivered and not consumed by it. And it can do the same for you when you live as someone who walks by faith rather than talks by faith, who walks by faith. So whatever life is dumping on you at the moment, hope that fun story helps you to concentrate on. Sometimes it's best to keep your mouth shut and just look to the Lord. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow on Sparks.